Hello there, I am Dranko with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on uh, the pretty much the majority of the HQ with battling all these Team Galactic runs, mostly in double battles. And then we took on Team Galactic boss Cyrus for the first time. So that's going to be other times where we fire him too, by the way. So sorry, I pressed spoiler alert, um, text over um, so you know that if you haven't played this game, then spoiler alert, then you know there's a spoiler coming. So yeah, let's talk to this um, scientist dude. I'm co I cooperate with Team Galactic, but this experiment has gone too far. Interesting. Look at all these machines. I can't say anything in our defense, but that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? What thing? What are you guys talking about? Interesting. There's Yuxi, there's Misprit, and there's Azelf over here. They're all trapped. Oh look, it's Saturn. Team Galactic Commander Saturn. I mean, I have um, I have um, Karen up front. If I need to switch out, so be it for this battle. Let's talk to him. Of course, you battle him. Of course, you. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon. Through though, it's nothing new. I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We Team Galactic take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. Um, but anyway, you're t you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Uh, consider it payback for insulting me at the lake. Okay, we face Team Galactic's Commander Saturn once again. His Pokemon are like higher levels, I guess, but that's really it. He still has his Bronze or his Toxic Oak, and his Golbat, probably. Oh, another one, he has a Kadabra. He has a Kadabra now. I don't remember him having a Kadabra at the, at the lake, but I could protect the voice saying, How did I not remember that if I was wrong? You know? So that's good that we have Karen up front then, yeah. Embargo. Okay, so that means um, I can't use healing items on Karen anymore, like potions or anything like that. Or status, or like paralyzed heals or something like that. So yeah, but um, we're gonna take out this Karen for lunch. Yeah. Do you want some fries with that? <laughs> okay, there goes the Kadabra. And now Karen is level 38, awesome. I go also getting some experience points. Okay, bronze ore. I'm gonna assume that this thing has a levitate. As always, like with all these other bronze ores, I'm pretty sure he does have levitate because it should be the same bronze ore from last time, except for probably higher level. And I don't know why it's not a bronze song if it's like level. It was at level 33 and it's at level 38, so I don't know why this is a bronze song. I think they wanted to make this battle a lot easier for you guys, for people who are just getting the Pokemon or whatever. But. It should be a bronze song by now. It's like five levels overdue, man. This flamethrower should take it out, but we'll see. There we go. It takes it out in one hit. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Everyone gets experience. Okay, so now I'm going to send out my bronze song on this Toxic Croak. And Toxic Croak, like Krogunk, is poison, half, half poison type, half fighting type. So it's four times weak to psychic type moves. So let's take this thing off. And it's still flipping the bird at us. Look at that. He's just flipping the bird. Jeez. That's, I thought this game was rated E, man. Rated E, man. Okay, I'll get to use Swagger and Sharp will raise our physical attack. Okay, not that I need it. Because it's a special attacking move. Because, you know, Psychic special attacking move. But it also confused Bronze. Come on, Bronze. You can do this. Yeah. And the Psychic hits. Awesome. A level 30. It's about to take out a level 40. I shouldn't get cocky though, I mean, it's could not, okay, it's, it's one, I one shot at all his Pokemon. I had the type advantage in all of them, actually. All the type adventures in the world, baby. At least for this battle. Yeah, Drago be level 35, awesome. So Drago's catching up with the sun levels. You're, you're a tough kid, but I still pretty, dang it. Thanks for the 6,400 Poké Dollars. I couldn't read all your dialogue there for a second. God, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those these Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. Okay, I will do that. Push the button and set the Pokemon free? Yes, of course. I press the button and set the Pokemon free. Okay, cool. I guess they're going back to their lakes. So where they can like take a good nap or something, you know? Because they got kidnapped. They got taken away from their home, basically. <laughs> Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three like three Pokemon. So it's a red chain, huh? That red chain is what we needed, what he needed to shackle something on Mount Cornet. 
but that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there. Okay, we might have to head off there next, because that's how we progress in the game. That's where the story is taking us. So actually, when you um, exit the, um, this creepy lab room that's all dark and dark and with dark black panels and stuff, you can you actually go, well, I thought you would actually come out of here. Oh, wait, that's, oh wait, it's unblocked so you can go right there, and then you end up right here in the third doorway entrance of the Veilstone HQ building. That makes sense. We got the item here, though, so that's good. And may, there's maybe a, there may be like a couple hidden items I'd missed in those empty rooms, but I used my dowsing machine on the majority of them, and I still couldn't find if there's actual item or not. So we go to Mount Coinette now. Um, I'm trying to think who I'm gonna leave behind, cause I need um, I need a uh, Beck to come out of the PC and like use um, you know. They hit a machine, they hit it like strength and rock smash and all that. So, uh, um. Whew. Um. I want bronze, I want rose to get to level 40 so I could evolve it, honestly. Um. But rose might just have to stay in the PC because I want Drago to, um, you know. To get the, have the experience here and keep on leveling up with half the experience giving it to it. So I'm gonna leave Rose behind, um, uh, actually on the PC, and then later on, later on I'll catch it up in levels of, like training it off screen or something if I have to. If it gets too behind in levels, but um, I'm thinking all these Pokemon. I think Karen will be at least level 40 by the end of Mount Cornet. Bronze will be level 40 at least. Um, Drag will probably be level 37 or so. Vegeta and Inferno might be level 41, 41 and 41, uh, both level 41. Uh, those are just my guesses though, so I could be totally wrong. But I'm going to just pop it Rose in the PC. Uh, I hate to do that, but for some reason at this, at this point of the game, I always put my, um, whenever I don't start with Turtwig and have a Torterra by now, I always put my Grass type in the PC for the Mount Cornet. Because it, does, it's, it's, does, it has a lot of disadvantages with Team Galactic's Pokemon, like with, um, like a dust ox and all that and gold bats and stuff like that so i'm gonna get back out of the pc but deposit rose real quick so i'll be right back you guys okay i have beck now so that's cool i guess so let me put beck at the bottom of the <laughs> yeah it's an hm slave it has all four of its moves are hms okay so i'll switch to jetta and then drago again and I'm gonna put bronze up front actually. Now let me check my, um, I wanna use some, I'm gonna, I, since I have six Rikanias, I wanna use one Rikani on each one of my Pokemon. So let me check the experience bars. I think I'm gonna use one on a uh, Karen because Karen's, uh, yeah, Karen's at the level. Yeah, I'm gonna give one to Karen. Okay, let's give one to Karen. Kind of like level 39, okay cool. So now Karen's level 39, so that's cool. Yeah, um, let's fly to, um, I think we have to fly to Eterna City now. So, yeah. Honchkrow's new crow. Karen's new cry being a hunch colonel. It's kinda of, it's kinda of scary actually. Not really creepy but scary. It kinda of like growls at you when it's makes when it does its cry. I wanna make sure I'm fully uh scocked up for this um Team Galactic. Or not Team Galactic, but for Mount Cornet. So Pokeballs, let's buy um three more I guess. I got a lot of money from all this Team Galactic events thanks to Papa Karen having the luck incense and doubling the prize money whenever it made it pants in battle. That was awesome, yeah. Let's buy five Great Balls. And Ultra Balls, let's buy five as well. Potions, let's buy three more, I guess. Super Potions, let's buy four more. You can even buy max potions now that we have seven gym badges are bigger or greater now once you have seven gym badges are greater yeah let's buy like three more hyper potions i don't really buy max potions at all so i'll skip out on that revive let's buy like three more yeah and then i'll buy a couple more full heals let's buy two more full heals 
I don't need escape ropes and then super pillows. Okay. Let's buy like... Let's buy like 21 more. Now we have 43 pillows, super pillows, right? 43, yeah, that should be good. Okay, and then, um... I'll take Pokeballs, yeah. Let's buy, um... Well, I don't have Dusk Balls. Dang it. I want to buy some Dusk Balls, <laughs> honestly. Let's go to- I think I know Slaceon sells them for sure. So, let me go to Slaceon Town. Dang, Hunter's Cry though. It's like it's trying to scare you. <laughs> it's it's kind of scary, honestly, if you think about it. If you listen to it, then you understand what I'm talking about, you know? So let's, yeah, buy net balls. We don't need any of those. We just need dusk balls. Let's play like four, I guess. We don't need that many, but just four is enough. Okay, now we can head off to Mount Coinet. Let's fly to Eternity City again, my bad. Listen to... Did you hear Honchko's cry there? <laughs> Jeez. I don't remember it being that, you know, scary sounding, you know? So yeah, we're back in Eternity City, but we're gonna actually enter through Mount Cornet through the, um... Through the east, uh, entrance... East of, um, Eternity City. I'm gonna throw to Pelon. Dang it, I didn't make it back Pokemon. I meant to go to put a pill on. Jeez. Medicine's pocket, of course. Let me go to the top of my medicine pocket while I'm at it. There we go. Super pills, baby. Can you get through can you get on the bridge? Thank you. Jeez. It's not that hard, man. It's not that hard. Okay, so. We've been in here before, but um, now we're gonna try to be awesome and be cool. There's that Team Galactic Grunt right there. What? I don't remember Team Galactic Grunt being this close. We're not even at Mount Cornet yet. We're still well, we're in Mount Cornet. Never mind. But like, I don't remember Team Galactic Grunt being there. Uh, there's no way of getting to to pick Mount Cornet from this side. Uh, uh was I supposed to go up from Harlem City side? I can't get up from the Eternal City side. I've never ran into you like that, but I thought this is how you're supposed to get through it. No, we need we need to go through this route with um. Dang it, we need to go through Mount Cornet where there's a rock climb passage. That's I I fell for it too. I'm I feel like I feel as stupid as the grunt there. So um, yeah. What does that mean? Going through the Ornberg side, I guess, is what we're supposed to do it. I can't believe I forgot where to rock climb and find where Mount Cornet is. Jeez. I'm really that. I don't remember. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a bike. Dang it, I got off my bike too fast. Okay, I'm pull off. Okay, fair enough. So I thought I was supposed to enter through this part of Mount Cornet. Jeez, it's like trial and error. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to... Let's put another pill on though first. Did I surf and get this item here? I don't think I did, but I may have. I'm doubting myself though that I actually did though. What the heck? Seeing that that wild Zubat was level 40, and if you look at my team, my number of Pokemon is level 41, so that means I'm like gonna run into wild Pokemon and the repellers don't really have much of an effect. That really sucks, you know? I wish not, maybe that's just in the water though. Here's a Dawn Stone. It's another evolutionary stone. I don't really, I don't need it. So I just picked it up there, I guess. Don't know wild Pokemon. I think it's just on the water though, because the water one has higher level Pokemon then, compared to the, um, the other, um, the Pokemon like in the um, actual Mount Corner area right here. So no, you no, you're wasting my appeal if I just keep on making steps. Jeez. Okay, well, what we want to do is just is to get to the um to get to the rock climb part is we got the surf here, and I'm gonna pick up this item while I'm at it. That's a protein. Awesome. What, um, forget what that raises though. 
Let's see here. It raises the attack stat. Okay. Um, let's give it to Drago. Put this to the very top of the bag. Cool. Okay, it's, it's important not to jump over the ledge or, or accidentally jump over that ledge or you're going to have to redo it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, now we go up these steps. Okay, this is has, this place has high level Pokemon because I probably won't, probably gonna run into wild Pokemon if I don't be careful. If I just ha happen to just walk around or whatever, which kind of sucks. There's an Ether, and back there was a Max Potion that I picked up out of the item bowl. Pull off, dang it! Okay, let's just put another pill on. Here's another item ball. <laughs> Here's an escape rope. I have five escape ropes now, so that's cool. I'm gonna go down here first. Oh, here's a that. Here's an. Here's a way to exit, but there's like a little cliff thing. Um, if you use rock climb right here, I guess there's an item down here. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hopefully, there's an item down here. Yes, there is. Okay, let's see what it is. It's an iron, which will raise the defense stat of a Pokemon. Okay, we'll get, we'll, we'll get, oh, come on iron, we need your iron. Yeah, dude. wait, making sure that's defense stat, okay, yes, cool. So who needs more defense? Um, let's give, let's give it to Jetta. I could have gave it to Inferno, but I mean Jetta, you never know. Okay. So after that's out of the way, we can go back in. I think I'm gonna pull off it said, so let me just double check. We go to the top of my medicine pocket again. Okay, still lingers, okay, I must have been seeing things then. Okay. We got this. Go up, across the bridge, go over here, down, over here. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I just ran into bronze song that was level 38, which is the same level as my bronze, my bronze away, my bronze song, I mean, sorry. Um, and it took three flamethrowers from uh, Inferno to faint it, so I'm thinking, like, I might have to do some off-screen training, because I think I might be underleveled, but I could be wrong. I might have to do some off-screen training, though, because, like, looking at my levels... I mean, I should always be, have all my Pokemon at like level 41 or level 40, but I don't, I'm just, I, th I feel like I'm kind of underleveled. But we'll have to see what happens. There's TM80 Rockside, it's a really good rock type move, if you have rock type Pokemon or a Pokemon that can learn it, that's really good, I mean, you can even, I think you can even cause uh, the full Pokemon to flinch if it hits. Well, a chance, I mean, it's not guaranteed, but a chance of it your opponent's Pokemon flinching, which is nice. Here's another item right here, which is a revive, very worth picking up. Because, like, if you put things into perspective with my Pokemon's levels, I haven't done any off-screen training at all through this Walk the Guide project. So, I, may, I think I might be due for some training in my pull-off. So, I don't know, it just depends. We'll see if things go, you know? Uh, if I feel like I'm struggling, then I might have to do some off-screen training. Which I don't mind doing, but I just want to make sure that all my Pokemon are at the full. They can do what they gotta do, you know? I gotta help them out, you know? Okay, here's uh, another way. I think if you went, came here before, this hole was blocked off. And had like a board over it that said, like, that had something on it saying, like, do not disturb or something or do not move. But then Team Galactic like, totally wrecked it. But that might only be in Platinum. I'm pretty sure that was probably only in Platinum, but it could also be in Diamond and Pearl. So yeah, going down here, here's um a, a, another place, I think this is where you can get item. It's, it's another Max Revive, very worth picking up. Ah! Uh. <sighs> I'm worried because I might have to do some off -screen, off screen training, but I'm not really sure yet. I just have to test the waters, I guess. Here's a Team Galactic Grunt. Let's battle, battle her, I guess. 
uh, we grunts have been assigned two noble jobs. One, ensure the success of our um, operation at the summit. Two, utterly destroy anyone who dis dares interfere. Okay, well, I'll stop. I'll make sure you uh, don't do that because I'm a good guy. You're the bad guy. Jeez. Okay, so there we go. Defeated that Team Galactic Grunt very easily, so that's good. This is another Team Galactic Grunt. This one's a male Team Galactic Grunt. Uh, three times, our time has come. It's Team Galactic's time now. Okay, that bronzer was a big pain, honestly. So let's continue on and hopefully not think about that anymore. Okay, my cornet. Here's the snowy side of my cornet. I think I still have my repel on, but again, the Pokemon here are so high leveled, so I'm not. I might not be able to repel them all like that. <sighs> this is just a big pain because I am at a disadvantage with all these wild Pokemon being what up here, even with their repel up. You know? Oh, come on. You know what? I'm gonna um. I'm gonna put. Fern up to the front because this Pokemon always seem to be like over 39, 38, but I'd still be able to pull off uh, with my pelping on and stuff. So, yeah, let's use Rock Climb right here. I like how in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you don't need to carry around an HM Slave, it's always just that you can call the Pokemon right if you need to do certain things. But here, and back in fourth generation, are you kidding me? Jeez, this is getting really annoying. It is. I don't want to run around Pokemon. Okay, here's a nugget. Very worth picking up. Are you kidding me? I might have to do some off camera training because, like, it's just too much. I mean, my Pokemon are borderline almost repelled, where you can repel all the Pokemon, but it's still not working. I don't know. Jesus, I climb again. Go in here, I guess. Okay, that's actually a way I can use waterfall and stuff, but he has an item up here, hopefully. Yes, there's an item right here, right? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, of course, I didn't check the rock yet. There we go, has an Ultra Ball. That's cool. We can just get out of this cavern. That'd be nice. Okay, so I'm in another part right here, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure um all my, all my Pokemon will be um level 42. Yeah, all level 4 too. Um, and including, uh, including a rose in the PC right now. Um, in the next part we'll be just doing like a training montage. Where I speed everything up and just show how I'm training my Pokemon. Uh, I don't know about Drago. Drago might be like level 36, 37. Because I don't want to, I don't know. Because Drago is kind of still under level with uh, everyone else, really. So, um... I'm just gonna, the next part will just be again a training montage where I'll speed everything up hopefully and you can see all my training or most of my training, some of it, just a little piece of it if I have to, you know, just to show it and also show that um, Rose will evolve into Rose Raid and I'll learn Petal Dance because I can't stand having just almost Pokemon that can almost repel off all these Pokemon when they, when they just so, when they're just like a level 2 below of what the max, the requirement is for repelling these Pokemon. So that kind of stinks. So this has been then my Pokemon Diamond. We need to walk through the part. Next part we'll do um, more Mount Cornet. Well, next part we'll show the training montage, and then after that we'll do the uh, Mount the rest of Mount Cornet, or some more of Mount Cornet, and probably not the rest of it because it's big. But yeah, so this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond. We do walk through guide. Okay, so this this sort of change of plans. I'm actually just gonna fly back to uh. Cantaloupe City because I don't want to do I don't want to dedicate a whole part just tr me training really I'll do that off screen but the thing is I looked up and I'm for sure that Drago that Gabite evolves in the Garchomp at level 48 and I just don't want everyone to be like level 42 
Except for Beck, of course. So first, let's go, let's go fly back to uh, Kenlife City, because I want to go back to Iron Island and do some training there, because that's a really good place to train in this point of the game, with what I have and what I've gotten through so far. I'm going to also, um, I'm going to heal my Pokemon up and then withdraw, um, Rose from the PC. Okay, so Rose is level 38 right now. I want to use- I, I've already used my rare candy on Karen once to get to get to get her up to level 39. So I have five more rare candies remaining, so the five more team- the five remaining team members basically get them. So yeah, uh, as you can see right there, um, Inferno is really close to uh, another level up, and then um, Gabbits, Drago is really close to another level up. Same with Jedi. I don't want to- I want to do it when like there's no like green or turquoise color out that experience by showing. It's mostly all just black and empty, I guess. That's what I want to use every candy. Okay, bronze is really close to level 39. But then, um, Rose is level 38. So, um, I'm gonna cut ahead to the, um, Iron Islands. And what, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ra raise Rose up to level 39 by training. And then I'll give it a, give it her every candy to get her level 40. So it's easier. So I, I can go from level 39 to 40 on her. So she can finally win Pearl Dance, her last move in a moveset for her final moveset. And she can, I can evolve, you know, Rosella using a uh, shiny stone into Rose Raid. So I'll meet you guys back at Iron Island. Okay, here we are back in Iron Island. I want to see if there's anyone in this house now that we actually completed this area. And not yet. I think that's still not after the Pokemon League or something. But I could be wrong. Okay, Iron Island. I'm just gonna like run into wild Pokemon and get my bow off. That's good. I'm gonna run into wild Pokemon and just train, uh, you know, Rose, Zelly, uh, Rose into level 39. And look, there's Gravelor, so this will be pretty much a piece of cake. Get some easy experience too. Oh, I should put the- I should take off the experience share for, um, um, Drago after this battle because then Drago gets half the experience points. I just want to level up Rose as fast as I can, so I'll just take the experience share off of uh, Drago after this battle then. Sounds like a good plan to me, at least. There we go. The battle system is just so slow in this game. Yeah, Drago got half the experience. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just um, take that experience here for Drago for the time being. Just for now, at least. Yeah, there we go. Because I really just want to raise up, raise up level um, Rose, I mean. Level up Rose, I should say. To Geodude, okay. This might take a while, so I might have to cut ahead to where actually Rose grows level 39. Wait, it shows her leveling up. So I'll see you guys in a second, I guess. And with that, after we beat that gold bat, we got we go, Rose grew level 39. How awesome. So that means I can use a rare candy on uh, Rose now to get her up to level 40. So let me do that real quick. Rare candy, okay. Give that to Rose. Nice. This one's still in the Petal Dance, yes. Should move to yes for Petal Dance, which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of Magical Leaf because I want its final move set to be Petal Dance, Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb. And that's it, yeah. Let's give it a ma Magical Leaf then. Yeah, there we go. We're going Petal Dance, or Rose going Petal Dance. So that's cool. Um, and then finally, we can finally evolve Rose now into Rose Raid using this shiny stone. So if it's in, it's in here somewhere, but yeah, here it is right here. Let's give that to Rose. What? Rose is evolving? Awesome. go. Your Rose evolved into Rose Raid. Haha. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So there we go. So all my Pokemon are at their final evolution except for Drago, which is going to be another 13 levels before it reaches level 48. So it's going to take a little bit more time. But yeah, I'm going to end the part right here. So this is actually the real ending this part. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. The next part will take on uh, more of Mount Cornet and I'll get caught up to where I was at actually. But for off screen training, uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to raise everyone up to level 48. So, or not 48, but 42. So I'm going to have fun with that. Um, so yeah, this has been Dranko again. I would like to leave you again goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.